how Amazon automated work and put its people to better use. At an automation conference in late 2018, a high-ranking banking official looked up from his Buffett plate and, started, and stated his objective without hesitation. I'm here, he told me, to eliminate full-time employees. I was at the conference because after spending months researching how Amazon, automated, uh, how Amazon automates work at its headquarters, I was eager to learn how other firms thought about this powerful technology. After one short interaction, it was clear that some have it completely wrong. For the past decade, Amazon has been pushing to automate office work under a program now known as Hands Off the Wheel. The purpose was not to eliminate jobs, but to automate tasks so that the company could resign people to build new prototypes, to do more with the people on staff, rather than doing the same with fewer people. The strategy appears to have paid off. At a time when it's possible to start new businesses faster and cheaper than ever before, Hands Off the Wheel has kept Amazon operating nimbly propelled it ahead of its competitors and shown that automating it in order to fire can mean p missing big opportunities. As companies look at how to integrate increasing powerful AI capabilities into their businesses, they'd do well to consider this example. T the animating idea behind Hands Off the Wheel uh, originated at Amazon South south lake union office towers where the company began automated work in the mid 2010s under the initiative some called project yoda at the time amazon's in amazon's at the time employees in amazon's retail management division spent their days making deals and working out product promotions as well as determining what items to stock in its warehouse and what quantities and for what price but with two decades worth of retail data at its disposal, Amazon's leadership decided to use the force, machine learning, to handle the formulaic process involved in keeping warehouse stock. When you have the actions, when you have actions that can be predicted over and over again, you don't need people doing them, Neil Ackerman, an ex-Amazon general manager, told me. The project be began in 2012 when Amazon hired Ralph Herb rich as its director of machine learning and made the automation effort one of his launch projects getting the software to be good at inventory managing and pricing prediction took years herbert told me because his team had to account for low volume product orders that befuddled the data hungry machine learning algorithms by 2015 the team's machine learning predictions were good enough that amazon's leadership placed them in employee software tools turning them into a kind of co-pilot for the human workers but at the point the humans could override the suggestions and many did setting back progress eventually though automation took hold it took years in to slowly roll it out because there was training to be done herbert said if the system couldn't make its own decisions he explained it couldn't learn leadership required employees to have automated to automate a large number of tasks though that varied across divisions in 2016 my goals for hands off the wheel were at 80 percent of all my activity one ex-employee told me by 2018 hands off the wheel was part of business as usual having delivered on his project herbert left the company on in 2020 the transition from hands off the wheel wasn't easy the retail division employees were despondent at first, recognizing that their jobs were transforming. It was total change. The former employee mentioned, uh, mentioned above said, something that you were incentivized to do, now you're being disincentivized to do. Yet in time, many saw the logic. When we heard that ordering was going to be automated by algorithms, on, the hand, on one hand, it's like, okay, what's happening to my job? Other former employee, Elaine Kwan, told me, on the other hand, you're also not surprised. You're like, okay, as a business, this makes sense. Although some companies might have seen an opportunity to reduce headcount, Amazon assigned the employees new work. The Amazon's retail division workers largely moved into product and program manager jobs, fast-growing roles within Amazon that typically belong to professional inventor inventors. Product managers oversee new product development, while program managers oversee group of projects. People who were doing 
these mundane repetitive tasks are now being freed up to do tasks that are about invention. Jeff Willick, Amazon's par uh, departing CEO of Worldwide Consumer, told me the things that are being the things that are harder for machines to do. Had Amazon eliminated those jobs, it would have made its flagship business more profitable, but but most likely would have caused itself to miss its next new business. Instead of automating to milk a single asset, it set out to build new ones. Consider Amazon Go, the company's checkout free convenience store. Go was founded in part by Dulip Kumar, an executive once in charge of the company's pricing and promotion promotions operations. While Kumar spent two years acting as a technical advisor to CEO Jeff Bezos, Amazon machine learning engineers began automating work in his old division. So he took a new lead role in project aimed at eliminating the most annoying part of shopping in real life, checking out. Kumar helped dream up Go, which is now a pillar of Amazon's broader strategy. If Amazon is any indication, businesses that resign, businesses reassign employees after automating their work will thrive. Those who don't risk falling behind in shaky economic times, the need for cost cutting could make it tempting to replace people with machines. But I'll offer a word of warning. Think twice before doing that. It's a message I wish I had shared with the banker.